He wrote down the substance of his dream. Daniel said, The first was like a lion, and it had the wings of an eagle. I watched until its wings were torn off. first was like a lion, and had eagle's wings. I beheld uh, till the wings thereof were plucked. From which country will the Antichrist emerge? Stay tuned to Bible Line and find out. Welcome to Bible Line Ministries with Bible prophecy expert, radio talk show host, and pastor, Dr. Hank Lindstrom. Jerusalem will be the focus, and Israel will be the focus. And Jesus said in Matthew 24 that Israel would be hated above all nations for my name's sake. We can see all of that coming to pass right now. And Israel is certainly hated among the nations of the world. And we see the players of the end time events coming up on the world stage, and we can get a look at them. Apparently, the United, the United States is the country out of which the Antichrist will come. You can read a lot of books, and most people are looking in all the wrong places for the Antichrist. For example, he's called the Assyrian. So some believe he'll be born in the Middle East and come out of what was ancient Assyria. Well, that is not true. Uh, he will be called the Assyrian but not because he comes out of Assyria, but because as the Western dictator, he will conquer all of what was ancient Assyria. And that means he'll conquer and control Saudi Arabia, Iraq, and we're already there in Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Israel, and Egypt. And so we believe that those countries are in our news right now. And those are countries where the West has her sights. And that is the area of the world where the whole world will come together in conflict. That out of ancient Rome would rise ten nations that were part of ancient Rome and they would come together as a common uh, people. And that has happened, we believe, with the European common market. It all began with 1948 a treaty being signed in Rome called the Treaty of Rome that was the beginning of this merging of the nations of Europe into a common group. And we believe that's the European common market. Interesting that this would happen. Who would have ever believed it back in World War II or prior that this would ever take place? But after World War II in 1948, the Treaty of Rome was signed and things were on their way. We also note that Israel was founded in 1948. And that is also very significant because the Antichrist, although he'll come out of the West, will actually set up his palace and rule the Western world from Jerusalem. And we know that that is, of course, what he will do as a counterfeit of Christ, as Christ, when he comes at his second coming, will actually make Jerusalem the world's capital. And he'll rule over the whole earth from Jerusalem as the capital of the world. Not Washington, D.C., not Rome, not London, not Moscow, not uh, any other great city on the earth, but it will be Jerusalem that will be the world's capital. We also find that in 1948 is when the Dead Sea Scrolls were found. In late 1947, early 1948, we find the oldest manuscripts of the Old Testament in the world today were discovered near the Dead Sea. And the first scrolls were found there at Qumran on the northern edge of the Dead Sea. Amazingly, these scrolls survived 
these 2,000 years because of the extreme dry conditions there, the desert-like conditions there along the edge of the Dead Sea. And God has allowed them to be rediscovered at, at this particular time for such a time as when Israel becomes a nation, God would restore to them their Bible. And these are the Old Testament scriptures that were found there at Qumran. And these were done by uh, Jewish people who really believed that the Bible was the Word of God and they feared to displease God. And so every time they would come to His name, they would use the precious water that they had to have a full immersion in a baptismal rite to ceremonially cleanse themselves before they would write God's word, lest they should break the commandment. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. And so we see that in the last days, these ten nations of Europe would come together, and the Bible says, out of the ten would come another nation called the Little Horn. And a horn in an animal is a way of telling its age. A little horn tells us the animal is young. And so we believe it's a reference to the United States, the only country in the world that is spawned by Europe, that is younger than and stronger than Europe, and meets the description of Daniel chapter 7. We're going to look here at this verse in verse 8 of Daniel chapter 7, where Daniel says, I considered the horns. I considered the horns, and it says, Behold, we're going to turn now to the next page, and it says, Behold, there came up among them another little horn. So we have ten plus another, that's eleven nations, before whom there were three of the first horns. <laughs> 